everybody, we are back here in Skyrim. We are going to be continuing our campaign here. I was specifically doing live streams for Skyrim episodes and whatnot, but assuming I'm not actually able to do any live streams or anything like that because of internet speed issues, um, you know, we are just going to be continuing doing this, you know, via regular uploads. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get things here. Um, our main, you know, goal here right now when it comes to the quest and whatnot is we have to make our way up here to the top of the mountain here, which is technically considered the third of the world here. But how we do that is we actually have to use clear skies to get this area here. And each of these fogs will actually kill you, so you have to use the um, shout here. Um, on these fogs to clear the area so you won't die. <laughs> like, well, like I said, you know, I'm not able to do live streams right now, so you know, I am just gonna be, you know, doing regular uploads of Skyrim until further notice. Um, so I'm able to do more live streams again. <laughs> oh my god, that <laughs> just died! I think that's actually a goat, not a deer, but... This is one of the biggest issues you have to deal with going down here. The main things are a pain in the fucking ass to kill. You know, they're actually very, very deadly. That one actually stayed still for me for whatever reason, but they usually move all around, which... It's very, very difficult. They're probably one of the most difficult creatures to kill. Look, because we're ice. You know, it's not exactly the easiest thing. See? Oh, well, that thing's dead. That is like, you only have to face a couple of those going up here. I want to check our skills, make sure we do not need to blow them up. Nope. You don't really know unless you check where you're on, you know, a loading screen. Sorry, my mic is being a pain in the butt right now. Are you guys hearing that? You bitch. That thing's dead. That may sure we're clearing the area here. Oh, oh. That is nothing. It looks like it, but it really isn't. Just about to the top. Here. Not too much longer here. And we have made it. Now we gotta talk to this dragon with this map of X. Hello? <laughs> Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Ah. 
I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovahkiin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovah. Since when has I been a tradition? Elder speaks first. Like. I guess if you're a kid, but... Come on. Guess we gotta, like... Put our, like, chest to it, I guess. Now we gotta go up and select it and use it against him. I guess it's not working yet. Now, now we can, I think. Yep. Show me what you can do. <gasps> Treat me not as mortal. Ah, yes. Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech wow. with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dovah's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Ah. I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? How do you like he knows? Dovahkin, like he's been around long together. enough. But I, do I think the dragons here the have been around Crucis. in this game, you know, for many, many decades, but me. they're just now coming back. But Your kind, I wonder if, if he is the one that actually possibly survived as a um, the after all these decades the of. Our no dragon. Our minds cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this thum? Yes, Alduin, Zembach. The elder brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Prusa has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end, so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Pause. A fair answer. <laughs> Rofus, 
Maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. That's the first time I've ever liked these answers out <laughs> of all time. the time. Playing Skyrim time here, so. See past time's end. Los Trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here at the peak of the Monavin? I what do, but I can't select the answer again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Hmm, yes and no. Viknuznikron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Oak Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. So pretty much they had no idea what the hell they were doing. <laughs> like... Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. We could be doing this wrong. Who knows? Which is why like, I you never here. really know. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Hmm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are fragments of creation. The Kelly. It doesn't exist, but it has existed. What? <laughs> How does? What sense does that make? Prophecy. Really? Yes. <laughs> Prophecy comes from an elder scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Get so a quick drink so here. Yet. You guys are hearing anything? Alrighty. Very, very important when you're doing Time this stuff. Make sure you're hydrated. <laughs> Because of what the ancient Man, because I can't speak <laughs> to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Croesus, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. 
Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. Look through. Um. Not like we can talk to them. Talk to Agner. This is like we got very much options left to so. Too lazy to walk all the way down that damn mountain again, so we're just gonna teleport down there. We're gonna speak with Agner real quick. I think next after we do this, uh, it's in the library somewhere in. Well, not in the library, but in the college. So, I believe it's the mage colleges. The dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon wren to shout? So be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. We have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. They may be able to tell you something about the Elder Scroll you seek. Such blasphemies are the calling of mages, not followers of the way. Take your question to the College of Winterhold. They may be able to help you. Hi, right, let's I go to the College of Winterhold, I guess. Which is not too far away, I should teleport Watch there. A lot of teleportation in this game. If you discover some place, you can teleport it easily. Going to winter hold here. It is it over here. An adventurer like you. Ah, here we go. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to a go. A friend of mine. Maybe it's under books. Done that before. Oh, dragon. Please, someone do something. I that thing went. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. 
Oh, forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold. A safe oh, haven for landing, mages and Skyrim. I don't know. <laughs> a place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? Do you? It is true, there are some here who have spent years in the accumulated knowledge of the scrolls. Until next time. Uh, one second here. Um, we are going to get a bow here. I really don't want to do this right now, but... Well, I missed that shot. Yeah. Uh, oh, I got him. <laughs> what? <laughs> How am I getting him from over here? I can't even see him. Got him. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I got him. Greetings. Welcome to the College of Winterhold. It would seem that the College has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the College? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing... A small test, if you will. Dragonborn? It's been so long since we've had any contact with the Greybeards. Do you really have the voice? I would be most impressed to see that. Don't want to kill her here. Oh, that gave me shivers. So the stories are true. You are Dragonborn. Normally, you'd need to show some aptitude with one of the schools of magic. But you... I think there is much that we can learn from each other. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. Okay. <laughs> I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. There's usually a guard that walks up to you and asks you, okay, that's what that's about. <laughs> or something like that. Winter holds glory days may lie behind it, but the college lives... Come on! I don't give a shit about this. Like... This is so slow! Come on! Good God. She walks so terrible. <laughs> like... I believe I've made myself rather clear. Welcome. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. 
Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you All right. ready to begin? <laughs> Wonderful. Please follow me, and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures. It sounds like we're getting a little bit of rain here, so you guys might hear any real violence, but something beside me here. Be um, rain drops on my air conditioner, so... <laughs> guys may be hearing that in the background here. Very strange, I it? I was expecting it to rain today. <laughs> Our newest members are housed here, in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Go ahead and enter through here. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, it, where, where most of the what, members... We're sharing a bed with... What? There's no two beds here. We have to sleep in the same bed. Are you serious? Oh my god. I cannot believe that. Watch it. Wow. Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards. I'm working on some very important research, I assure you. Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Alright guys, I think I'm going to be wrapping things up here, you know, I'm not going to really start doing too very much um, with the missions just yet, you know, probably next episode is when we're going to be doing the classes and, you know, we're going to find the outer scroll as well, but, you know, like I said, I'm going to be wrapping things up there and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.